Hi, in this video we shall be developing the principal component analysis using data and uh, as you know the principal component analysis is a statistical methodology that is used in order to, to make dimension reduction and for this uh, tutorial we will use data set containing information on some individual especially uh, 12 individual uh, with information in revenue, consumption, number of household members, professional experience and the level of study so we will use this data set in order to summarize information information in uh, individual economic information on individual and finally we'll show you how to use this information in order to uh, create an indicator that will give us information about the level of the household so we have 12 households and we'll build a principal component analysis using stata in order to build an indicator so it's the first time you are watching one of my videos do not hesitate to subscribe and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next uh, video so coming back into our principal component analysis to run it in stata is quite simple just go in statistics then drop down to uh, multivariate analysis and then to and principal component analysis and then finally choose a uh, principal component analysis click on ok and uh, the next step is to select a variable to include in the PCA so the first variable will uh, drop individual will uh, use venue uh, consumption expenditure a number of household member professional experience and a level of study those five variables will be used in our principal component analysis so as we have selected all our variables we just need to click on ok and uh, we will see the uh, principal result of our principal component analysis uh, especially Hagen value table and vector coordinate in the five uh, axis uh, five component principal component so as we can see that our first component represents almost 70 percent of information contained in our sample the second component have 10 percent and the cumulative proportion is 90 percent so if you use the uh, kaizen uh, criteria we will keep axis that have at least the mean portion the mean proportion is 100 divided by 5 that is 20 percent so we keep axis that uh, that contain almost 20 percent of information in a sample so we will keep the first and the second component in order to make our principal component analysis so further uh, information we can have on our principal or component analysis are for example Hagen value plot so we go in statistics then uh, multivariate analysis and then click on multi-factor and principal component and choose post estimation then can choose print plot of Hagen values click on ok then click on ok and we can see that the screen plot of our Hagen value are there we can also have some post estimation information in multivariate analysis factor and principal component analysis principal, uh, post estimation we can uh, have variable plot so in graph that we plot all our variable in the first two component we can choose three but we keep the by default value of the first two uh, two component we represent our individual in the uh, two component that are most important to uh, represent our individual and we can see the scatter of our uh, individual that is uh, represented here so the most important information that i wanted to show you is how to uh, use your principal component analysis in order to build a, an indicator based on um, just those data so we'll uh, go on statistics let's uh, predict our principal component data uh, coordinate of our individual in the principal component so we'll go in statistics go to uh, post estimation click on post estimation and then uh, we'll select predict we'll predict score variable fit value and a residual so we will select predict and this uh, case will predict principal component one pc1 and principal component two so we'll, uh, select the first two components because our Hagen value distribution uh, using a uh, kaiser criteria uh, show that we can just use the first two components in order to summarize our information our information so we'll use just the first two components in our analysis in order to build our indicators let us first predict our first two uh, components that are coordinate of our individual in the uh, two components so then click on ok and we can see that uh, two variables have been generated the variable on individual uh, representing the score of uh, our individuals in the component so to build our indicator we will uh, just uh, calculate a new variable that will be a, a mean of our first two components and the weight of our uh, mean will be percentage of our component divided by the sum of percentage uh, contained in the first uh, in the axis that will be or has been uh, choose to be used in our analysis so we have chosen the first two uh, components so our indicator that i call id 
id no so i will generate the variable called id that will be equal to uh, our first component multiplied by the wake the wake will be 0 0.7977 divided by the cumulative percentage of first two axes which is 0, 0 0.1990 multiplied by the pc1 pc1 plus uh, wake of the uh, second component which is uh, the percentage of the second uh, represented by the second axis which is uh, 0 0.1990 negative 0 0.7977 divided by the cumulative uh, percentage of the two axis which is 0 0.1919 all this will, will be uh, multiplied by the pc2 so then we click on ok and we can see that our index has been generated we can label it and for now we'll keep it and the indicator that will have been calculated uh, as we can see in our data can be used in order to compare our individual so that the individual which have the higher index will be the household with better condition so and in our database we can see that uh, the individual that has the highest index is the second individual and we can see that the uh, revenue is uh, very high compared to the other and we can see that uh, this, this household have higher consumption and uh, a number of member in the household is very slow so it's the uh, household that is having a good performance in terms of uh, social uh, social level that's it for this uh, tutorial and we hope it have very well help you uh, understand how to run principal component analysis in stata as well as uh, indicator building and if you have not yet done so do subscribe to the youtube channel and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next application and let us uh, see you very soon in a new video